This example explains how to read digital inputs, write to digital outputs, create compound blocks, and run code on the target both in standalone and debug mode. For the target, we'll be using the Texas Instrument F28069M launchpad board, also known as the Piccolo. The Piccolo has two built-in LEDs. The red LED is connected to GPIO 34 and the blue LED to GPIO 39. The simulation is set up to simulate from 0 to 10 seconds in increments of 0.01 seconds and a run in real time. Next we need to identify what target is being used. Select an F28X config block from the embedded Piccolo menu and place it on the screen. Ensure the CPU is set to the target being used, in this case the F28069M, and also ensure the JTAG connection is set to TIXDS100 V2 USB or the JTAG you're using. All other parameters can usually be left at their default value. We use a square wave to control the LEDs. Under Blocks, Signal Producers, select a square wave block and place it on the screen. Right button to expose its parameters and set the frequency to 1 Hz. Under Blocks Boolean, select a NOT block. Connect the NOT block to the square wave. The output of the NOT block complements the square wave signal. Under the Embedded Piccolo GPIO menu, select a GPIO output block. Right button to expose the parameters and set the channel to 34 for the red LED. Then connect this block to the square wave. Copy the GPIO output block using Control shift left button and set the channel to 39 for the blue LED. Then connect this block to the NOT block. Now we'll run this model in standalone mode on the target. First, select Tools Code Gen. All defaults may be used at this time. Select the Compile button. The compile results are presented in a DOS window. Select any key to acknowledge the DOS prompt. Then select Download, followed by Download. Observe the red and blue LED blinking alternately at 1 Hz. Next, we'll modify this model with an additional round trip path. In addition to lighting the red LED, our square wave will be written to a digital output on the launch pad, which will be connected to a digital input and read back into our model and plotted. We'll use GPIO 50, which is connected to pin 13 on the launch pad, for the digital output, and GPIO 51, which is connected to pin 12 for the input. To make this work, we first need to jumper pin 12 and 13 on the launch pad board. Now we'll modify the model. Under Embed, Piccolo, GPIO, select GPIO Output Block. Right button to expose parameters and set the channel to 50. Connect this block to the square wave. Then select GPIO Input Block and set the channel to 51. Place the square wave, the NOT block, and the four GPIO blocks into a compound block by first using the mouse to select these blocks, then right button and select the Create Compound option. We'll name our compound block LED Round Trip. After creating the compound block, you'll see it has three output pins. For readability, we'll name the output pins. Right mouse button to enter the compound block. Double-click the left mouse button on output pin 1. Enter red LED command. For pin 2, enter blue LED command. And for pin 3, enter pin 12 digital input. Next, we'll connect pins 1, 2, and 3 from the compound block to pins 1, 2, and 3 of a plot block. Right mouse button on the plot block to expose its properties. Navigate to the Axes tab. Set the subplot count to 3. This will plot the pin 1, 2, and 3 inputs in three separate time history plots. Next, we'll build this model to run in debug mode, which will allow us to send and receive real-time data between the host PC and the target. First, we'll build the out file to be downloaded to the target. Select Tools Code Gem. 
ensure the Use Selected Compound Edge Pins for Data Exchange is selected. Defaults for the other settings may be used at this time. Select the Compile button. The compile results are presented in the DOS window and select any key to acknowledge the DOS prompt. Then select Quit. Next, a target interface block is obtained from the embedded Piccolo target interface menu and placed on the screen. Observe the block has the same number of output pins as the compound block used to produce it. Right button on the target interface reveals its configuration. Observe the .out file generated in the previous step is being used for the download. Connect the three target interface output pins to pins 4, 5, and 6 on the plot. This will result in a side-by-side -side comparison of the simulation results on pin 1, 2, and 3 and the results obtained from the target on pin 4, 5, and 6. Click Go. You'll observe the out file being transmitted to the target. Then it will begin running. On the plot, the round-trip signal from the target is plotted on pin 6 of the plot, which corresponds to the third time history. Observe that this round-trip signal agrees with the LED command, which is sent to the red LED.